So what is good guys Adnan here and it is that time of the year again where despicable users such as you and I thrive hard to get all the sweet android features from the latest developer previews squeezed onto our devices. Without any further ado here is how you can attain some of the best android o features on any android device out there. Oh and also say hi to Mr Cloudy for making this video lit. The way we are going to achieve this is by following a few simple steps, which do require root. The first and probably the most ideal option I recommend is to get Substratum and the Android O theme for it. Now I know it is paid, but I can assure you it is well worth it. If you still want to choose the Sly way, follow the link given below and you can install a free APK. But do purchase the app if you feel it's worth it, please. Anyways, once you have it enabled, simply open Substratum up and tap the build and enable option and grab some coffee while you're at it. Reboot your device if necessary and voila. This theme pack includes a full system UI turnover, many apps like the calculator, the dialer and the YouTube app and virtually all others fully redesigned with the sweet bright white theme. Hey, what's up guys? This is Katie Cloudy and picture in picture mode is one of Android O's newer features and you can easily get it on your existing Android device by this app called Awesome Pop-Up Video. It's a pretty good app, pretty easy to use and you just either open the app and browse the video to get that window to pop up or you can just browse through YouTube, open the video you want to pop up and share that video to this app and again you have the window up and running. It's one of those pretty underrated features but once you get the hold of it, it's hard to go back. Now if you haven't already done this, go ahead and install the Pixel Launcher simply by installing it as an APK file. This not only brings the closest stock Android feel to your smartphone, but is also going to give you a pleasant experience like swiping gestures, a free room for yet another application on the dock and much more. Now there is a leaked Android or Pixel Launcher, but what I am using right now is the normal Pixel Launcher and it works like a charm. To add the cherry on top of the cake, you can use the Pixel Icon Pack and Awesome Icons at least to change the square deformed icons on your home screen. Now another set of features in Android O included some system UI tuner customizations which let you adjust the positioning of your navigation bar layout for one handed use and guess what, you can do that now itself with this app called custom navigation bar and it lets you get all of those features like left or right lean positioning or adding an extra button on the side like a keyboard switcher or the clipboard button etc. But the only catch here is that it requires root but that might or might not be a big deal for some. But yeah, custom navigation bar in the play store for these cool features. Check it out, link in the description. Lastly but definitely not the least, at least on my part, the boot animation. Now there's been a lot of animosity about Android O being called Oreo and someone has already made a sleek looking boot animation. How do you apply it? Follow the link in the description below and download the zip file onto your device. Use a compatible root file explorer like ES and simply copy the boot animation file to system, media, where you will already find your existing boot animation. I'd board the safer train anyway and rename the old boot animation just to make sure I have a backup. Once done, don't forget to set the permissions to read, write, read and read. Now reboot your device and have a look. Okay now, you have done all of these things mentioned in the list but just for the sake of completion, these set of misleading features will add an icing to the cake in getting a close to Android O experience. First, if you're still running Marshmallow for some reason, you can use an exposed module called NFI which will make your notifications and the quick settings like Android Nougat which is basically the same as Android O. And then you can also get that cool dark stock wallpaper linked in the description you can also get and then you can also get that cool dark stock wallpaper with Android O developer preview linked in the description full resolution and apart from that you can also get a pack of ringtones and system sound effects in the description for those sweet sweet google pixel sounds. And lastly if you're feeling fancy 
you can even get an exposed module which will show up the android o easter egg or even the android oreo easter egg totally up to you whichever you want this is android you can basically do anything you want well guys that was it for the video if you guys think we've helped you spruce up your experience even by a bit then definitely make sure you not only subscribe to my channel but also as a token of appreciation subscribe to kd cloudy as well that's been it and i'll catch you guys in the next episode